let us move ahead and take up the next question that is question number 2 let us read this question first x limited has a turnover of rupees 30 lakhs at present the company currently offers credit period of one month at present bad debt losses are two percent of sales cost of funds to the company is 12 percent per annum presently the cost structure is variable cost equals to rupees 21 lakhs and fixed cost equals to rupees 4 lakhs the company is considering a proposal to increase the credit period from one month to two months as a result the sales will increase by 20 percent however bad debt losses will then be five percent of total sales recommend the company whether it should accept the proposal so basically if you try to analyze what is given in this question here company is already offering credit of one month and now the company wants to take a decision on extension of credit from one month to two months so there is a present situation of one month credit and there is a proposed situation of two months credit one month two months present and proposed so currently the sales is 30 lakhs and in case of the proposed policy sales are expected to increase by 20 percent so 20 percent of 30 lakhs is 6 lakhs 6 lakhs added to 30 lakhs your proposed sales amount will be 36 lakhs thereafter currently you are incurring variable cost as uh, 21 lakhs and sales is 30 lakhs if sales is increasing by 20 percent variable cost will also increase by 20 percent because variable cost varies in proportion to sales so 20 percent of 21 lakhs will be 4 lakh 20 thousand that 4 lakh 20 thousand added to 21 lakhs will make it 25 lakh 20 thousand you can have an alternate calculation otherwise you can say variable cost is 21 lakhs when sales is 30 lakhs so variable cost will found to be 70 percent of your sales so if sales increase from 30 lakhs to 36 lakhs the revised variable cost will be 70 percent of 36 lakhs and that comes to 25 lakh 20 thousand fixed cost is 4 lakhs that will be constant amount in both the columns present and proposed thereafter you already have sales on credit so already there is some fund blocked so there will be cost of funds blocked in present as well as proposed policy and likewise there will be bad debts in present as well as proposed policy so currently the bad debt is given as two percent of sales that is two percent of 30 lakhs but in the proposed policy bad debt rate increases to five percent and that too you will apply five percent on 36 lakhs so let us see how to present the solution over here in your solution you will again make a comparative profitability statement with two columns present and proposed write the credit period first of all as one month and two months then you mention the amount of total sales thereafter total variable cost i have already explained you how to get this 25 lakh 20 thousand and then total fixed cost will remain same so aggregate of variable and fixed cost will give you cost of goods sold marked as b additional cost of collection again question is silent about cost of collection but there is definitely some information given with respect to funds blocked and cost of funds blocked at present is 25,000 and at the proposed column it will be 58,400 this time I did not explain you how to get this in fact I will explain this after this calculation is done so one explanation and the follow up working note for this remains pending bad debt amount I have already told you this 60,000 is nothing but 2% of 30 lakhs and this 1 lakh 80 thousand is basically 5 percent of 36 lakhs a minus b minus c minus d will give you the net benefit amount which is 4 lakh 15 thousand at present and 4 lakh 41 thousand 600 as proposed so what do we find ultimately that your profit is definitely increasing 
all right friends let us move ahead and write up some important working notes working note 1 will be total variable cost in the proposed period so there can be two different ways in which you make this working percentage of variable cost in the current year you try to find the percentage of variable cost you know what you will do 30 lakhs is the amount of sales and currently you are incurring variable cost of 21 lakhs 21 lakhs as compared to 30 lakhs it is basically 70 percent as a percentage correct so currently variable cost are 70 percent of sales so variable cost in the proposed period will be 70 percent of that 36 lakhs and that comes to rupees 25 lakh 20 thousand this could be one way of making the calculation alternatively if sales increase by 20 percent variable cost will also increase by 20 percent so what is the variable cost in the proposed period in that case it will be 20 percent more than 21 lakhs and that way also you get 25 lakh 20 thousand so please write up this working and in exams you don't have to show the calculation both ways either one way whatever is more comfortable and whichever working you find as uh, understandable to you more easily you follow that but any one thing is required in examination however at present i want you to note down both the ways of calculation let us move ahead and now write up the second working note that is cost of funds blocked at present so what is the amount of funds blocked at present 25 lakhs is your total cost of goods sold so currently the credit period is one month so you will take 1 by 12 of annual cost of goods sold so your monthly blockage comes to 2 lakh 8333 that means on an average this much amount of your fund will remain blocked throughout the year and 12 percent of that will be 25,000 now the manner in which you have computed 25,000 that was what the current amount of cost of goods sold into 1 by 12 and whatever you got that as funds blocked on that you are applying your cost of capital as a percentage and you get the cost of funds blocked so when you go with the third working note that will be the cost of funds blocked as per proposed policy do you know in place of 25 lakhs you will take 29 lakh 20 thousand that will be the revised cost of goods sold for that year instead of 1 by 12 you will take 2 by 12 because your credit period is enhancing to 2 months and this 12 percent will be applied as it is so if you make that calculation you get 29 lakh 20 thousand into 2 by 12 into 12 percent and that comes to 58 thousand four hundred conclusion that you can write at the end is accepting the proposal of 2 months credit increases the overall profit by rupees 26600 that is basically increasing the profit from 4 lakh 15000 to an amount of 4 lakh 41600 so it is increasing by rupees 26600 so the conclusion drawn is the proposal is worth accepting let us move ahead and deal with the next question that is question number 3 let us read this question B limited has a credit policy of offering credit to customers for a period of one month current sales are rupees 30 lakhs variable costs are 80 percent of sales and fixed costs are 4 lakhs per annum the company arranges funds at cost of 20 percent currently bad debts are 2 percent of total sales the company is considering a proposal to extend the credit period to either two months or three months the following implications are expected for these two proposals so you have two months and three months uh, as your proposed credit period expected sales under two months credit will be 33 lakhs and under three months credit will be 36 lakhs bad debt rate with two months of credit period will be 5 percent of total sales and with three months of credit period it will be 10 percent of total sales further given you are required to advise the company regarding its credit policy whether it should continue with existing policy of one month or extend the credit period to two months or three months so friends when you are attempting this solution what you just need to understand is currently the company is offering one month credit 
and now not a single but two different proposals are there that is extending the credit to two months or extending the credit to three months. So, this time your comparative profitability statement will be actually presented in three columns that is present then proposed two months and proposed three months and thereafter you make all the calculations in the usual way and you are definitely going to get the correct answer. So, let us just now look into how to present the solution for this question. In your solution you are obviously going to present a comparative profitability statement. However, this time it will be not a comparative profitability statement presented in two columns, but three columns. One is the present situation and then the proposed situation is not just one single proposal. We have proposal 1 and proposal 2. So, the corresponding credit period for the three columns will be 1 month, 2 months and 3 months. The total sales will be 30 lakhs, 33 lakhs and 36 lakhs. The total amount of variable cost and then the total fixed cost. So, you know one thing variable cost will vary in proportion to the sales and fixed cost will not change at all. So, cost of goods sold will be aggregate of fixed and variable cost. Then you talk about the additional cost of collection which is not informed and cost of funds blocked. I am displaying over here as 46,667, 101,333 and 164,000. These three figures I have yet to show you the workings for the same. Once you write up the profitability statement on comparative basis, I will also show you how to get these values. Though gradually you should remove your dependency from me in terms of explaining these amounts. Later you should be able to do it yourself completely. Then bad debts 60,000, 165,000 and 360,000 and then net benefit that will be A minus B minus C minus D. Look at one thing, look at one thing. You are getting positive amount of net benefit at present, but in both of the proposals, the net benefit is going to negative. So, definitely we are not going to implement any of these proposals. We are going to implement the present policy only. So, we would conclude at the end that the company should continue with its present policy of one month credit and extension in credit is definitely not doable at all. Alright friends, let us move ahead and write up those important working notes. Cost of funds blocked at present. So, funds blocked at present will be 28 lakhs into 1 by 12. 28 lakhs is basically the annual cost of goods sold into 1 by 12 will give you average monthly cost of goods sold which is the amount of funds blocked at present because presently you are offering credit of one month. And then the cost of funds to the company is 20 percent. So, apply 20 percent on 2,33,333. So, your cost of funds blocked at present is 46,667. If you are supposed to calculate the cost of funds blocked under both the proposals, what you will need to do is you will change the amount of cost of goods sold from present amount to the amount as per proposal 1 or proposal 2 as the case may be. The period of credit will alter correct instead of one month you will take either two months or three months depending upon which proposal you are talking about and then on that you directly apply 20 percent. So, you will directly get the cost of funds blocked under the two proposals. Let me show you how to write it up for proposal 1 it is coming to 1,1333 and for proposal 2 it is coming to 1,64,000. Let us move ahead and write up the conclusion. So, under the heading conclusion you may write now little different line that is implementing either of the proposals is resulting into losses. Therefore, the company should continue with its present policy that much will be enough. So, please write up these couple of lines and that will be end of the solution.